This is going to be a little mini Pilates session for Texas Ballet Theater School levels one, two, and three. Because there are more than one levels and different ages, there will be different variations of the combination. Please do what you can do correctly. Do things slowly with control and work up to more repetitions. Don't do 10 repetitions on the very first day, okay? So just do a little bit at a time. Make sure that you have enough space, about a yoga mat, um, plus being able to reach your arms and legs out to the side as well. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get started sitting down. Knees looking up, hands behind your thighs. You're gonna inhale, shoulders down, lift the chest, and exhale, cat curl. I'm only gonna show things once or twice, so you do that three to five times. Last time you're gonna lift up and then you're gonna curl down, letting go if you can, and release. Hands can be interlaced, hands behind your head. Draw your feet in and open them. This is gonna be a little different because I want you to be able to see your knees lifting. Inhale, prepare, exhale, lift up. So if you do it correctly, your knees will stay down. If you clench your bottom muscles, your knees will go up. So that's why I'm having you do it this way. So you can tell, relax and lower. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, lift up. Keep those knees down and lower. Five to 10 times. Work up to those. Next variation, lifting up. Add rotation. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. Keeping the knees as still as possible. Again, five to 10 sets. Lower down. Knees back up, hands down, lift the legs up. Belly button to spine. Keep the knees at 90 degrees, lower towards the floor, bring it back up. Lower down, lift up. You do not have to touch the floor. If you touch the floor and your back comes up, don't touch the floor. Rest the belly button down, keep yourself anchored, like you've got something or someone sitting on you. Okay, but don't have someone sitting on you. And lift, okay. Progression to make it harder, lift up, Hands support the head, exhale lower, inhale up. Again, don't touch the floor if your back comes up, okay? Five to 10 sets. That might be week two that you add the head. Arms out to the side, squeeze the legs, legs side to side, inhale over, exhale, pull it back up. Inhale over, exhale, pull it back up. Again, five to 10 sets, work up to that. Lower down. You're gonna be on your side next. I'm just gonna show one side. So this would be good if you're against a wall behind you. So as you open this, don't let this hip come back, okay? You're gonna keep your hips stacked, just like when you're at the bar, if that's your mirror in front, you're gonna keep your hip bones facing forward. Then you can put your knees together. So toes together, knees together. Again, five to 10 sets. Make sure you do the other side. I'm not gonna do that today. Hands back down, next is bridge. Gonna throw a little tantrum, okay? That's how feet far, far apart your feet are. Do not put them close to you. So, that tantrum, leave them there. Hands down by your sides. Press the lower back to the floor. Curl that tailbone up. Push the knees over the toes. So don't let your bottom drop, okay? Lift, ribs down, tailbone up. Get a straight line between knees, hips, and shoulders. Push the knees over the toes. Okay, see how I can move my head? So I'm gonna drag my head to my heels. And I'm gonna curl down one vertebra at a time, bring the lower back upwards, belly button in to release. So once you're up there, just a few sets. When you get stronger, you can come up and you can lift a leg up, throw it down, other leg up and down. Okay, don't let your hip drop. That's it, thumbs down. Keep your hips up, all that moves Reach out, rolling up, coming up if you need to. If you can't come up, bend your knees, grab a hold, curl up, and stretch. Okay. So again, I'd rather see you modify by bending your knees than keeping your legs straight and going. I call that karate chopping or rolling over to one side, using your elbow to come up. Don't do those two. Okay. Those are thumbs down. Put your hands behind your thighs, curl up. Get to where you can hold it, then straighten your legs, and then come up, okay? We're gonna go onto your stomach. Okay, hands are together and on your forehead, not your nose, 
nod your chin, your forehead. So lower down, shoulder away from ears, feet on the floor. Inhale, lift your body up. Exhale, lower back down. Okay, five to ten sets. Okay, next version that's harder. This might be more for level three. You lift up, and then you lift up around, and then come back down. Okay, again, forehead, not chin, because that changes the angle of your neck. Then you're going to lift your legs up, okay? Notice that you're not down on the floor, and you're gonna kick. So you're not gonna keep your thighs on the floor. You're gonna lift them up, notice that, and then you're gonna kick one foot, stretch, other foot, stretch. Shoulders still away from ears, and okay. Again, side to 10 sets. A set is right side and left side, okay? Then coming up, since you've been working on your back, you're gonna do a cat curl, stretch it out, a cow. Okay, you can do about three of those and then shoulders away from ears, push away from the floor. What that means is you're not going to sink down like this. You're going to push. Okay, stay here, belly button to spine, reach one leg out, opposite arm. So this is my right leg, left arm. Stay here, balance. Okay, just hold it for a few breaths, three to five breaths, and to the other side. Okay, then go to downward facing dog. Walk the dog. Okay. Walk your hands back. 